I'm Matt. I'm Dave. And we are the Kentucky Quartermasters. And, and uh, we're here today to, to uh, show you another pistol. Uh, it is the uh, XD45. Compact. Compact. Um, it, the uh, before we get into the gun, i, I got to tell you a little public service announcement type deal. I, I'd like to ask everyone out there to uh, join the NRA. I, I, well, it is good. Uh, if you want to keep your guns and you want to help the people who are trying to fight for your guns, there you go. Um, they are ready for uh, for anything that the government has thrown at them, and they are uh, basically just doing what is needed to help us out with uh, everything we need. Yep. Um, I'd like to tell you a little bit more about ourselves. Uh, we live in. Uh, Little town called Racing, Kentucky. Um, we're on the fire department here, the volunteer fire department. Um, been on there. I've been on there about a year. Uh, he's been on there about half a year, a little more than that. Not a pro anymore, but. Um, and we got into. I got into the gun thing about a year, about a year ago, a little, little before I got into uh, fire department, and uh, I, I loved it. And never really. Uh, had anything that I, I like so so well. Um, me and him has uh, been friends for uh, twelve, almost thirteen years now, and uh, we've always been around each other. That had to uh, do with anything. I mean, we just we've always been friends and always hung out. And this is just something else that uh, came up on our agenda that we'd like to do. So, uh, if you want to, just go ahead and get into the review here. Here we go and get into the review. Uh, uh, first thing I want to show is uh, you do you, you get a pretty good case. I mean, um, it's yeah, I mean it's it's pretty fitted for a gun, obviously. Um, I gave what, was six fifty six six fifty six for this gun. That's it's what uh, Kentucky taxes and everything. It's a uh, bi tone. Um, it is compact. Comes with your uh, your holster. Your two mag pouch and speed reloader, uh, extender mag, and uh, comes with another mag that's already in the gun. Um, which this guy right here is a big fan on the extender mag because it makes it a full size gun. But uh, as usual, we'll do a safety check here. Mag's empty. Clean. Um, you want to start with something more? Sure, why not? Um, okay. First thing that I noticed when I grabbed this gun is that there was no work for my pinky. Uh, of course, I'll that's what I'm you here. Uh, yeah, thank you. That's, uh, oh, it feels much better. Um, okay, this is a good alternative to the Glock 17. Not 17, the, uh, what is it, the. 20, 22 or something like that. I don't yeah. know. I don't know the Glock numbers. I, I have no <laughs> idea. It's a Glock or XD, whichever one. Screw the numbers. It's it's yeah. Um, first thing I noticed was the compactness. Uh, then you see you've got the uh, trigger safety here. The little nub sticks out. You got the grip safety, which I don't notice that much. I wasn't marking you, son. You don't have to jump <laughs> like that. Um, uh, you have ambidextrous uh, mag release, which I like because when I fire, sometimes I just like to you know, just pull my finger back. And which sometimes that is that's a little bit faster way of doing things, especially if you have your mags on your side, just ready to go ahead and pull in and go in. This that way, competition. that way I don't have to change my my upper grip. I can just change the lower part of my grip, and get back into it, ready to go. Um, locks back nice. Right, real heavy recoil spring. Uh, has a full length guide rod. Yep. Um, does a double capture. One thing that uh, that I do like about it, it is uh, real easy to fill strip. Um, it's kind of like a mix between a, I would say, a Sig and a Glock. Yeah, of. every bit of it. Uh, you have uh, the as 
the XD itself is basically a mixture between the uh, 1911 and the Glock. It's got the uh, the grip angle of 1911, the grip safety, the um, uh, another thing is it is okay to drive fire these guns. I mean, you have nothing to worry about that. Um, which that's with most internal most mo most internal uh, uh, hammers. Uh, they're either real right to uh, drive fire. But uh, it has some uh, indicators on here for your own safety. Um, for one, notice right back here, you have the butt of the uh, firing pin. Uh, that is an actual indicator to let you know whether if you're looking at it or not, you can still feel it. Whether well, um, it's cocked and ready to fire. And it also has another indicator up on top here. It's a loaded chamber indicator. And uh, if there's a round inside this gun, it will be popped up. Which safety rules, you know, don't always trust everything you just see. Always uh, know for yourself. You can always check. Um, I'll go ahead and do a real quick field strip here. Uh, lock slide pull, back. You lock slide back, and you have a little switch right here, basically. You just lift that up. Uh, kind of watch for that too. You want to make sure it is all the way up, or else if you have it at an angle a little bit, it could scratch your slide. Um, release it. Do a dry fire. Slides right off. Should have double captured the uh, guy spring rod right there. Yeah. Um, and you just push in on it, pull it out, then the barrel comes out. As simple as that. Just a uh, three piece uh, knockdown basically. Slide three pieces and you got your slide and frame there. Two pieces there. You Everything go. that you have to know is in that slide. Um, and when you get ready to put it back together, you just uh, pull it back, lock the slide back, flip that little lever down, and you're, and you're back together. Pretty much common sense. Yep. Um, um, Jinx, you me over. Uh, well, yeah, okay. Uh, let me get my buyers you got over here that you kind of got on to me last time. Um, okay, the XD comes in 9 mil, 357 SIG, 40, 45 Glock Auto Pistol, 45 ACP. This one, I believe, has a 4.04 inch barrel. Yeah, that's what I got. Three dots, standard, double tail front and rear sides, which is cool so you can change the sides out if you need to. Um, D uh, there is one that comes with night sights. Uh, Which the only thing night sights are good for is if you're going to find it in the dark on the counter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, um, That's my own opinion. I'm sorry for all those who really love the night sights. Uh, yeah, the night, night sights thing about night sights is... Uh, you're not going to shoot anybody in the dark. No, no. They're only good for them, like twilight. Um, We're running close on time here. Yes, we'll we are. Well, we'll kindly, uh, kindly, uh, uh, say a few more things here about it, and then we'll, we'll let you all go. I know, kind of getting to the boring at the end. Um, the uh, overall, if I would give this gun a, a, on a scale of one to ten, I'd get it definitely a nine. I give it about an eight. Uh, it's it's an accurate gun, uh, up up in par with Glock. People compete with these things. Um, one thing we didn't mention, uh, it has uh, accessory, uh, rail. accessory rail automatically uh, that's already built into the gun. So if you get you a light or get you whatever uh, attachable laser, you can just slide it right on. Um, another thing that uh, we didn't kind of mention there was uh, with the mag pouch and the holster, you'll notice that they both have accessory rails. Uh, and they also have a, a tension uh, screw that's uh, right here that uh, if you, I don't know, some people like their uh, their mags and their, uh, their gun to be real tight on them. The speed lower slides right on. I mean, it, it goes right on there. But anyway... Uh, we got 15 seconds, so uh, with that little note, if you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to just send them to us. Uh, we appreciate any subscriptions that you give to us. And uh, see you next time. See you next time.